Muy buenos días, espero que estéis todos muy pero que muy bien. Bienvenidos un día más a mi canal, bienvenidos a Red Dead Redemption 2. Un segundito, vamos a mirar el mapa. Vale, al parecer todas las misiones se centran por aquí. Pero mi pregunta es, ¿no estábamos por San Denis? Bueno, no sé, no me acuerdo muy bien. Pasaron unos cuantos días y ya no me acuerdo de qué es lo que pasó. Bueno, pues vamos para allá, al campamento. La zona de los caballos, el establo. Ah, sí, ya me acuerdo. Me acuerdo que sí, estuvimos cantando aquí. Vamos allá. Se cierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando de ojitos negros, cielito lindo, contrabando. De la sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Ay, 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 ay. Venta y no llores por el campo. Cielito lindo los corazones. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo se des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí, que a mí me toca. Es el lunar que tienes, cielito lindo, junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ay, 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 no llores. Cuando sales, cielito lindo, los corazones. Ole, qué cracks. Vale, no hay nadie disponible ahora. Repártanse. Exactamente. Está dentro de la casa. Sí, dentro de la casa. Dormimos. Vale, esto ya está reformado, está fetén. Y no me digas que vamos a dormir en el sitio donde hemos disparado al otro tío. A ver un segundito. Caza, creación, esto, lo otro, vale, nada. Vale, eso también se abre. No, vale, dormiremos aquí. Vale, este sitio no me lo conocía. ¿Y qué tenemos por aquí? ¿Y por aquí? Examinar. Leer. Vale, algo del tejón. Vale. Cambiar de ropa, armero. A ver, armero. Vale. ¿Y qué tal? Sí. Ahí está para afeitarse. Dormir. Hasta la mañana. Cinco horitas. 
Vamos a dormir un ratito, querido Arthur. Ese lunar que tienes, cielito lindo, junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie que a mí me toca. Vale, vamos a afeitarnos. Vamos a recortar. Vale. Y pelo engominado porque no se puede. No tienes gomina para ponerte, vale. Vale. Y esa notita, a ver. Esa carta, a ver. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur, I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you. Even though I am ashamed to do so, yours, Mary. Pues Mary necesita nuestra querida ayuda. Cuando se trata de Mary, saltamos directamente. Vale, por aquí se saldrá a la calle, sí. Y por aquí se entra. Vale, estará en la parte de arriba. Vale. Creo que lo indica claramente. Veamos qué misión nos toca por aquí. Hola, Mary Beth. ¿Cómo estás, Arthur? Bien. ¿Cómo estás? Bueno, estoy bien, creo. Ha sido un poco de run que hemos tenido, pero estamos todavía vivos. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that married girl. <laughs> Yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but... In reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Ok, vamos. Head for Rhodes and quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. 
What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Anyway, talking to folks disappearing. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. Oh, ah! Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Don't get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right end. Me. A gentleman such as yourself. Oh. I said I'd deal with it. Anyway, just get in there and find Tilly. They won't even recognize your brother. Right there, man, sit down there. I'll take that. Where the hell did he come from? You back there! No. no, 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 vale, 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 vale. Fue Arthur. They probably heard us. Are you going in there or not? Shit! Go find them. Before they put a piece of your head. Damn it! This better not have nothing. Finish! Bastards off! It's okay, Miss Tilly. Now, let's get you out of here. I thought there was... I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. Bounce. All right. Get after them. Clear. Straight ahead. I saw him go through those bushes. Oh, you're good. You got it. They're heading down the hill to the water. Oh, there they are by the shoreline. That's it. Hey, on. Hit the wrong girl. We're coming for you, you bastards. All right. I think that last one's the boss. Lasso him and we'll take him back to Tilly. Go on! Oh, that bastard! Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. You don't know who you're dealing with! Come on! Get him, Arthur! Come here! That's it. Now make sure you time up real good. Vale, 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 lo hemos atropellado con el caballo. No era la idea. All right. I think that last one's the boss. Lasso him and we'll take him back to Tilly. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. I promise you don't want a war with me. Away from 
Now make sure you time up real good. Vale, creo que la he liado otra vez. Es que no sé cómo se ata. So we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. This could get bumpy. Oh! Come on! Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. It don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. Son of a bitch. All right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. We're going for a walk. So he's still alive then? Ah, I guess. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says... <clears throat> Revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I... Slit your throat and just save us all the bother. I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. All right, you. Come on. Let's get you home. Yeah! Now get out of here. 
Uf, no sé si he hecho bien, he hecho mal, no sé qué. Exactamente no sé qué he hecho. A ver, ¿qué es ese icono que me sale todo el rato? Cartel de fugitivos, vale, vale, vale. Vale, pues vamos a por un fugitivo primero. Ya que estamos aquí al lado. A ver. Solo 25. Solo 25. Muy poco me están dando por este. A ver si está lejísimos. Y sí. Vamos a por Josea. Vale, este caballito no sabe mucho, ¿eh? Vale, bien, bien. Ahora sí cogió la idea. A ver, ¿queda mucho? No queda mucho. Vale. Vale, no le puedo hacer mucho más a ese caballo. Vale, vamos a ver a Josea. Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident.
Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Uh, Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be. Yeah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has a, the thing, you know, a respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fusar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Well, I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and scoop cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Oui. Acaba de cerrar esa puerta y eso me olió a dinero o que esconden algo, eh? Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to San Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen. 
Let's go ingratiate ourselves. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall and what's his name, Milton, knows we're here. Of you? Si. Be well. Uh, se me olvidó que eran los escalcalzas de Pampo. Se me olvidó. ¿Tú qué tal? ¿Estás ahí? It ain't complex, and you, and only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? Me. Come on, sleep it off. All right, okay, goddammit. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh! Oh! My lord, that's fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass, and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Well, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. him and his men like hogs. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Hey! Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he would sign later. Marie! Marie! 
Find that little reprobate Jeep and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Vale, ¿hacia dónde se va? Vale, creo que va a la puerta esa que había cerrado hace un momento. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think... Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find out? Well, there's plenty of money loose through here, of course. And I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. We're gonna leave. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Let me see you take this. I don't think so. <laughs> I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Interesting times. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. 
Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <clears throat> Este es mi caballito. A ver, tenemos aquí a Leopold Strauss. Ok. Vamos a hablar con él. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <laughs> This is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. They're a union built on that, you know. Yeah, okay. Perdón. Entonces tenemos que ir aquí. Vamos a ver qué velocidad coge este caballito.
A ver, ¿qué hacemos aquí? Hemos llegado y no hay nadie. Por la puerta de atrás. Vale, hay alguien dentro. Vale, ya te encontré. Madre mía, me ha hecho corte y todo, eh. Joder. Pobre chaval también. Vale, nada por aquí, nada por allá. Me acuerdo que debajo de la chimenea siempre hay algo. Vale. Vale. 
Vale, este cofre. Vale, ya hemos recuperado la deuda, nos volvemos. Por medio del bosque, ¿eh? Vale, ¿qué había aquí? ¡Ostras! Despellejar. Vale. Y vamos a comer algo, ¿tá? Vamos a comer algo nosotros. Thank you, Arthur. 
We're gonna run out of meat here soon if we're not careful. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Perfecto. Y aquí qué? Mrs. Adler. How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. Will you get any leaks? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on. We need to talk. Mrs. Adler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? What the hell have they done to me? Look, they in the tree line. Everybody take cover! Or Driscoll boys are coming! Oh my god. Windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side door there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go! Why didn't you get inside? 
And miss all this? Come on, Archer. Now we go back. We need you in the house, Mrs. Adler. Oh, no, thank you. Okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Ok, pues vamos dejando el capítulo de hoy por aquí.